Okay, here's something a little interesting I was playing around with. You would have seen this little motor before. And I've made a few modifications. As you can see, the center pin on the transistor, which is our collector, normally has our diode on it. And I have removed the diode from there. <coughs> Excuse me. I've removed the diode from there. The rest is your basic SSG setup. I'm pulsing the coil north and the magnet orientation on it is south out. Now without that diode means we have an AC going back into our battery where we normally would. But what I've done is I've put a diode between the run battery and the charge battery. So this has made things pretty interesting here. On the scope, as you can see, I'm zeroed out. I am set on the 5 volt divisions, times 1 on the probe, and we are set on, what is that, 0.1 milliseconds on the time division. So it's zeroed out. So I'll click it on DC, and that's what we have. And we can see the pulse to the coil from the 12 volt battery, which is indeed the 12 volts, it does drop down to about 10 and a half after its pulse. But when it switches off, the coil is dropping way, way below zero. Um, we're talking 5, 10, 15, it's 16 volts strong, and it's got a little, little tail there going down to 20 volts in the opposite direction. Now this is across the run coil we're looking at. I have the probe hooked up to the start of the run coil which of course is from our battery, run battery and the ground is hooked to the collector. And that is what we have. This little bit down here is doing a bit of dancing so as I'm still learning how to read one of these, I'm not really sure what I'm looking at. It would seem the voltage has gone from one direction completely in the other direction and I'm assuming this may be going back to the charged battery. Now the interesting thing is that it does charge very very well, however been sitting on 12.44 to 12.45 volts on the run battery for the last half an hour. This has gone up over a volt so far on our charged battery. What I'm going to do um, with this voltmeter here, I'll take it off the positive side of the charged battery and of course our negative lead is on the negative side of the charge battery. I'm going to hook the positive lead up to the other side of the diode I have between the batteries, which of course is the positive of the run battery. And we get 15.87 volts, nearly 16 volts, which just so happens to be about what this is from the zero line down to here. So I'm not really sure actually happening here but this seems to charge a whole lot better than having the diode um, on the lead from the positive charge battery down to the collector on the transistor. So a very interesting little setup that and I'm not sure what the voltage is about between the positive of one battery and the negative of the other. But yes, it certainly does charge very well. So um, if anyone's got any ideas about that, we can flip it over to the AC side. And it's pretty much the same, other than our input to the coil drops down and the output has in fact gone a bit lower. So if I go up 
I'll set the zero volt line on the next division above and that is indicating nearly 25 volts below zero or 25 volts of current in the opposite direction as far as I can tell so just to something a little interesting for you so one um, would see maybe we're better off without the diode on the collector and putting the diode between the run and the charge battery and to me it looks like there's actually when the coil collapses a reverse current going back into the run battery which may have something to do with explaining as to why this voltage hasn't dropped and this has gone up over one volt and the same size battery but anyway I'll let it keep running and uh, we'll see what happens cheers from the tin man <laughs>